I'm here in Cove in County Cork this morning and I'm on one of Butler's coaches. I'm in the company of Kevin Butler who's doing our driving and Kevin O'Connor uh, of Blue Zone. And the reason I'm on the coach today, Kevin, is to check out Wi-Fi. We're familiar with Wi-Fi but now we find Wi-Fi on a lot of buses. So, uh, Kevin, you're the company responsible for putting Wi-Fi on this bus but you also have another innovation. Yes, Tim, good morning. Um, that's correct. We do have another product on, installed on this coach. Um, as well as Wi-Fi, we've also complemented it with uh, Bluetooth Internet. Um, it's a brand new first world service that uh, allows anyone with a mobile phone with Bluetooth enabled to browse the web on their phone. So they're not just strictly restricted to uh, a laptop. Right, so now I have my laptop with me this morning. Uh, and by the way, we're heading from Cove today up as far as uh, Photo Wildlife Park and that general area. So the bus is moving and I am connected. Tell me a little bit about the business, about how you got in to and how you started this business, Blue Zone. Well, um, I'm in business now just over a year. Um, Blue Zone Media uh, started off as a proximity marketing uh, company uh, whereby we'd offer uh, Bluetooth advertisements to uh, shops and restaurants that they in turn would, would uh, deliver the messages to their customers' phone via Bluetooth at no cost. So does that mean when you'd walk into a shop you'd get a little message and... Exactly, that's exactly it. So from that, um, the, the, same, the same system uh, developed into providing Bluetooth internet. So we started providing Bluetooth internet inside cafes and restaurants. And um, I became very interested in, in Wi-Fi on buses. And I thought, well, that's great if you've got a laptop or an iPhone or a Wi-Fi enabled phone and you're sitting on a bus. But what about the people that don't? Um, there were, I had a recent discussion with a couple of bus companies where they told me on a full bus they may only have five users of the Wi-Fi system, which left the potential of another 47 Bluetooth enabled mobile phone customers with no internet access. Because of course most mobile phones nowadays would have Bluetooth. Yeah, over 90% of phones on the market today have Bluetooth enabled on the phones. And, and for some people who wouldn't be too familiar, it's, it's a little transmission device between mobile phones. Yes, exactly. It's uh, the free transmission from phone to phone or from phone to Bluetooth headset if you were driving in the car. What kind of investment has been made in the business and what, how many people are involved? Is it just yourself? Yeah, so far I estimate somewhere in the region of between twenty five and €30,000 of my own money. Um, money well spent. Um, it's great to, to be able to put, put money back into the business and from that develop new technologies, new products. The man responsible for having this on, on the coach is Kevin Butler. Kevin, good morning. Thanks for driving me up. Good morning, Tim. It's my pleasure. W why did you decide to put Wi-Fi on, on your, some of your coaches? We're a family-run business. Um, started my father, Sean, uh, over 42 years ago. So a lot of our business is repeat and refer business. So we were already aware of um, Wi-Fi on buses, but the fact that uh, delivering it to the mobile phone, we felt that was something we could offer to all our customers, not just our business customers, and also being free and as an extra in these competitive times, it was obviously an advantage to, to, to bring this on board. So that, that. Like most people now have a mobile phone, so and 90% of those have are Bluetooth enabled. So, I mean, we're looking, even the past six weeks since it's been in, we've had a wide range of passengers, uh, all different nationalities, all different ages, um, and they've been able to use, like, they've all been able to use it through their phone. Not everyone carries a laptop, obviously. I'd imagine that school kids love it, do they? Absolutely. We find the kids hop in, basically, and the first thing they do is put on their iPods and get out their phones. So, you know, the traditional ways of entertaining kids on a long journey, or even a short journey, their attention span can be quite small, as you can imagine. Um, so, with the mobile phone now, they can play their games, they can go on Facebook, they can send free text messages to one another. So, um, it'd be great for the kids, but also for the business. Essentially, uh, I've seen I see a bit of a gap in the market where you've got a whole bus full of people and only a fraction of these people are using uh, the Wi-Fi on board. So it left me to start thinking, well, what can we do with the other 47 people? Providing the Bluetooth internet simply bridged the gap to get everybody that has a Bluetooth phone online. Helps to pass the time as well on a, on a particularly long journey. You know, if, you're, if you're driving at night time and, and your passengers have a three hour journey ahead of them, no harm in, in switching on the Bluetooth, browsing the web. Now we're going to the grounds of Forta, 
and Fort is notorious for its very large trees. It's it's famous for its very large trees. Um, and again, the signal is holding up fairly well. It seems well. to be doing all right, doesn't it? So we're now listening to RT Radio 1 via my laptop through the Wi-Fi system on board the bus That's great. over the 3G mobile phone network. In Photo Island, in a car park, on a bus. There you have it, technology. Tim Desmond reporting from the Blue Zone, otherwise known as Photo Island.